All righty, multi-threading. What is it and how can we build a quick example to illustrate the concept? So for starters, let's go ahead and import threading, which we're going to use in a moment. And then we're also going to import time. Let's create a class. And for this example, let's just call it CPU Painter. Now it's going to have a function called paint wall and it is going to wait two seconds and it's going to print when it's done wall painted. In its constructor, we are going to make a simple call to that function paint wall. So self dot paint wall. And now we have a little class that is acting as a painter. So let's say we have four walls that want to get painted. Well, one way to, to paint all the walls is just by creating an instance of the CPU painter four times. So we can do CPU painter, CPU painter, CPU painter, and CPU painter. If I run this, try and guess what, what's going to happen. So I'm going to run it and, and let's, let's watch. We wait two seconds and we get wall painted. Another two seconds wall painted. And at this point you can see we're just simply waiting two seconds and then the wall will be painted. Now, our computer is much more powerful than this. And, and we have no reason not to be painting all of these walls at the same time. And obviously we're, we're not painting walls. This is an analogy to a, a process occurring in a, a linear fashion, but what if we wanted it to occur concurrently with other processes? Now, this is where multi-threading shines. So we're going to alter this class just a little bit, and we're going to create a thread. So T equals threading dot thread, and we're going to target the paint wall function. And within the constructor, we are going to start the thread. Now, what's happening here? We're creating a new thread that's targeting this function, and we're going to start the thread. Now, what does that mean? Instead of calling CPU painter and going through originally calling the paint wall function, waiting two seconds, printing wall painted, and then moving on, we're simply starting, starting the thread, and it's going to run this function on its own thread, and it's going to do that for all four CPU painters. So, so let's take a look and watch what happens here. We run it and boom, two seconds, all four walls are painted. Now, obviously, as I mentioned before, this is an analogy to concurrent processing. This, this really shines in applications in where, where you may have one or more processes that could be or can be occurring at the same time. Maybe it's a query to a database or a, a good example would also be in algorithmic trading where you have a data feed that's persisted by some sort of connection to a brokerage house and then analysis is being performed simultaneously with trade execution.